All right, the DOPs. All right, the direct object pronouns, the DOPs. They are pronouns that take the place of things within our sentence. Not, they don't necessarily take the place of the people like subject pronouns do, although they can, and we'll take a look at examples like that in class, but they are the objects, they are the pronouns that take the place of things um, that we are acting on, things that we are going to do, things that we are going to eat, things that we are going to read, going to write, things that we are actually going to act on, they will take the place of those things. You can think of these words like that, I'm sorry, it or them, but in the, in the sense that we are going to do it, we are going to take it to the store, we are going to buy it, um, we are going to buy them, okay? So they're not the subjects of our actions, they are the objects of our actions, all right? Let's take a look at these and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. All right, and first off, notice that you have a pattern here. Notice that you've got a pattern. Me, te, lo, la, nos, los, las. That template, that pattern should look really familiar because it follows every pattern that you've ever done with pronouns, conjugation, um, and verb forms, okay? So that pattern corresponds with the very first one that we ever learned. So let's take a look. The first pregunta there, Número uno, ¿necesitas el libro? ¿Necesitas el libro? Well, a possible answer would be, sí, necesito el libro. But think about it in English. You wouldn't answer that way. Do you need the book? Yes, I need the book. You wouldn't really answer that way um, in ordinary speech. The question would be, do you need the book? Yes. And the answer would be, yes, I need it. That it is our DOP. That's what we are substituting. So, let's take a look. Well, what is the direct object? The direct object is the thing, in this instance, that I need. So, what is it that I need? Right, el libro. El libro is what I need. Alright? So, we want to take the place of that item, that noun, with a direct object pronoun. Well, ask yourself, you got to think about gender and number. What is el libro in gender? It is masculine. Is el libro plural or singular? It is singular. So we need to go over to our template and find, we need to go over here to our template and find the masculine singular direct object pronoun that would take the place of el libro. Which one do you think it would be? Hopefully, you said lo. Hopefully, you said lo. Si, lo necesito. Yes, I need it. Yes, I need it. Si, lo necesito. El libro, lo, is our direct object pronoun, our DOP. DOP. Let's look at our second one. Número dos. ¿Vas a comer la pizza? ¿Vas a comer la pizza? Ask yourself a question. What is the action... Number one, what is the action in that question? The action is comer, all right? What is going to be acted on? What is going to be acted upon? What, are, what is comer? It is to eat. What is going to be eaten? Well, the pizza. The pizza is what is going to be eaten. So you would answer, yes, I'm going to eat the pizza. That's really robotic. It's not very good fluency. It's not showing a you know high competency in Spanish. So you wouldn't you wouldn't answer yes. I'm going to eat the pizza. You would say yes. I'm going to eat it. All right. So now we need to put that it in there somewhere. So take a look at la pizza. What is it? Is it masculine or feminine? Is it singular or plural? What do you think? Good. Hopefully you said singular, feminine. So which one would take the place? of pizza should be la, si, la voy a comer. Well, we have two options in this one. We can always put our DOP in front of a conjugated verb, which is what we've done right here. Boy is conjugated, so we can put it right there in front of the conjugated verb, or we can attach it 
to our infinit infinitive verb. Si, voy a comerla. Yes, I'm going to eat it. Both of those translate to, yes, I'm going to eat it. Número tres. ¿Tienes tu mochila? Do you have your book bag? So, one answer. Yes, I have my book bag. Okay, sounds a little, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't sound very natural. It doesn't sound like very good speech. So, instead of saying, yes, I have my book bag, we're going to say, yes, I have it. What do you think? Mochila is what we're looking to substitute for. What do you think we're going to substitute it with? Well, mochila is singular feminine. So, again, it will be la. I'm going to pause it really quickly to put up here some examples with the others. All right, two more real quick examples. Necesito ir a la tienda. Necesito ir a la tienda. The bottom part says something. Can you take? Can you take? So, who is it that needs to go to the store? Yo necesito ir a la tienda. So, what is our direct object pronoun that will correspond with yo to say, can you take me? You are correct. It will be me. Me puedes llevar. Can you take me? Second one. ¿Quién compra los regalos de Navidad? ¿Quién compra los regalos de Navidad? Take a look. What is your action? Our action is compra. So what is being, what is comprar mean to buy? Okay, well, what is being purchased? What is being bought? Los regalos. So, los regalos. Masculine or sing or masculine, well, uh, masculine or feminine. Good, it's masculine. Singular or plural? It's plural. So, go over to your DOP chart. What are you going to put in the place of regalos? It'll be los. Ana los compra. Ana buys them. All right, those are your DOPs. Again, they take the place of the item that's being acted on. The thing receiving the action, they will take the place of it as it or them, me, you, or we. We'll see lots of examples of these, and you'll have plenty of time to work on them in class. Hope this tutorial helps you out. Be sure to... Um, Look at it, keep it open while you're doing your work if you need to review as you're doing your assignments, alright? Mucha suerte.